Hey everyone, today I'm going to be talking about the Maryville sex case, a story of parental failure and social media, media outrage. Thanks to the reporting in Slate and other sites, the world has become aware of a couple of cases out of Maryville, Missouri. I have a link to the original story that Slate reported on, the, on, as well as a couple of good links from the local NPR station. To briefly recap, two young girls, a 13-year-old who's not been named, and a 14-year-old were at the 14-year-old's house drinking when they decided to go to a party that a 17-year-old boy was having. They left about 1 a.m. and returned home in about an hour. In that time, the two girls had more drinks and were involved in some sexual activities with a 17-year-old and another unaged boy. The 14-year-old was left outside free in the freezing weather for about three hours before her mother found her. Her mother started treating her for a frost bat and discovered bruises on her legs when she pulled the pants off. The mother called the local sheriff and there was a quick investigation and within days the boys was under arrest for different charges dealing with the sexual acts. Now, these are the facts that are not disputed by any of the parties involved. Past that, oh, it gets hazy. And one thing I want to point out right now, the boy who had sex with the 13-year-old admitted the 17-year-old while admitting that he did have sex with the 14-year-old, denied that it was forced, and felt that she was sober enough to consent. And that's the crux of the case. Was she sober enough or wasn't she? The sheriff felt that she wasn't. I think it's safe to say that no one can fault the sheriff's office for their quick and thorough investigation. And again, it's important to remember that one of the boys was convicted of a crime. The district attorney, on the other hand, found that evidence was lacking, so the charges against the 17-year-old was dropped. This right here is the source of the internet outrage. So why were these charges dropped? Well, in the stories quoted, the sheriff blamed the mother of the 14-year-old girl. It seems that she took to social media after the event and was very vocal about the case. This led to hundreds of witnesses coming forward to support the boy's case. Whether these people were being honest or not is what sunk the case. So since we have to blame somebody in the society, who would it be this time? Well, I say blame the parents. And I mean all the parents. Or at least those of the 17-year-old and the 14-year-old. Those girls were allowed to get boosted up and sneak out of their mother's home. Those boys was having a drunken party at the boys' house. Both were minors who was able to, it seems, easily get a hold of alcohol. Past that, it seems that neither of them was ever taught about sex. It seems no one talked to these kids about rape or about consent. The total failure of the parents angers me and it sickens me. I mean that before, during, and after the events of the night. Look, I'm the father of four. I have two boys and two girls. I can feel empathy for all that's involved in this mess. I can see the hurt and the anger that the mother felt. And I can understand wanting to defend your, your son from untrue charges. But as parents, you have to be above that. You can't let your emotions lead your actions. And you know what? This goes for the rest of us, too. We should not be defending this one boy or white knighting this girl. None of us was there that night, and we do not know what happened. Since the case dealt with minors, the files are sealed. I know this will fall mostly on deaf ears. But now is not the time to be pushing your agenda. It's not an ideal example of race culture to hang your hat on, nor is it a great excuse to bitch about your theory of the patriarchy. It's a painful event for these teenagers. Their lives have been forever changed. We should give them some time so they can heal. Now, if you truly feel that some hate needs to be made of this, then let's join together. 
do what we can to do to teach our kids about the dangers of reckless drinking and a true understanding of us. Okay, so that's my take. What's yours? Post a comment, and if you're feeling cheeky, make a response video. If you do make a video, send me a, a PM, and I promise to link the video below. Thanks for watching, and goodbye for now.